Hello everyone, I'm Alistair and welcome back to the oxygen not included and definitely it is not, this is barely breathable. Where can I see it? Yes, but we have plenty of oxygen where they need to have it. I hope so. So far no one died. We have some food, okay. I read a little bit more about the game and it is really, really deep. This is on a level like a Factorio or sometimes I had a feeling that's even deeper or even worse. It depends on your viewpoint. But very satisfying if you can manage all of it. Insufficient oxygen generation, of course. Yeah, max gas pressure. That's why I have these carbon schemes. I know that the carbon can carbon dioxide can be used later in the game. But for now, I need to just take it out of the system. And one of the tips that I've seen how to deal with the carbon dioxide is they were like, just dig down. Because as I said before, the carbon dioxide is heavier than oxygen, so it will sink down to the bottom. So I should just dig like a big ditch going down and it should sink in. And this should be filled with oxygen then. So let's try that. That will be the easiest way and cheapest. Oh, hydrogen generator. Interesting, but we don't have any hydrogen. But I need this heavy wattage wire. Because we are over, you know, overwhelming our grid or whatever to say it. Okay, so this one is max power 20 kilowatts. And I will need the transformers to it, I think. Yeah, power transformer is here. Limits power flowing through the transformer to 1000 watts. So I can have like a... where it is? Why did I close it? One heavy wattage power line, like from the batteries, all the way through the middle of my colony. And then I have like a transformer up here and connect all these buildings. And then the same on the other side. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I need to deconstruct the, all these power lines. So for a while, we will be without the power. Oh, this cannot be built in a tile. Okay, so how to do it? This will be a little bit trickier than I thought. Cannot be built inside the wall. How am I supposed to connect to the batteries for fuck's sake? Oh, okay, so we have heavy watt joint point. Okay, this game is not that stupid. I am that stupid. So I can use this to cross the rooms. Perfect. Let me try to figure out something and we will see how it goes. Okay, I think I fixed my power problems a little bit. So I have this big chunky heavy watt wire here and one transformer here and one transformer here. And when we check the power overlay, I have separated grids. So this is connected on one grid. That's maybe even too much, but for now it's working all, all right. And we here we have another grid. So now it should not be like, you know, overvolting or whatever it's the term. So we should be fine. Okay, I now I know how to build it. It's good. How's the oxygen doing? Uh, it could have been better. Especially down here we have so much polluted oxygen here. And I have only one deodorizer here and here is another one. But they first need to fix it and my stress level went up to 18% for some reason, especially Stinky. What's up with you mate? Where is he? Here, Stinky. Ah, uh, Yucky Lungs, yes. From the polluted oxygen, he was spending too much time down here. I will need to make them those gas masks or something, or get rid of that polluted oxygen somehow, don't know how yet. Maybe build more these deodorizers. I have no idea why they are not delivering the coal to my coal generator. I even have it stored here next to it. And they still yet, I even put it on top priority on yellow alert. And they still not delivering any coal. And I have 2400 kilograms. So what's the problem? I, honestly, I don't know. Now you are going to do it. Finally, but that took so long. All right, I uh, moved the refrigerator from the <laughs> this location, which is right next to a toilet, which was on the good idea from the beginning. So let's deconstruct that one, and I build them one up here. 
Yes, next to the lovely transformer. And they have even some tables now to eat or at. Mess table. Yeah. At least the stress went down a little bit. Everyone else is at zero and Stinky is at 27. But uh, he was at 35, 36, I think, last time I checked. So, this is quite alright. So far, everyone's alive. The colony looks like a mess, but really, this is my first playthrough, so I'm not really bothered by it that much. I'm just figuring things out. And we have our new first shower. It's a public shower, so everyone can see you, <laughs> apparently. Next to the toilet, because why not? Okay, I have my first crafting station. And I have no idea what we can craft or how to use it. Really don't know. But I have it. I have a crafting station. <laughs> uh, maybe later I will figure it out. I don't know. It says that it they will not produce anything until the recipe is selected or something. But I don't see any recipes or how to use it. No, fabri fab no fabrication queued. Ah, I have a new way to make oxygen. Electrolyzer converts water into oxygen and hydrogen gas. Hmm. And I can use hydrogen to make more power. Okay, so maybe I should make a setup somewhere. I wonder, can I use any water or does it need to be clean water? I was thinking about using the polluted water. But that's probably not a good idea, right? <laughs> what is this? Stores a small chunk of oxalide which releases oxygen. Ah, right, okay. But I want this electrolyzer. Let's make it up here. I don't really have a better spot right now. So I needed this. And I need a way to store the hydrogen. How do I store the gas? Can I store the gas something, somehow? Oh, it will be releasing it the boat into the atmosphere here. So I need to scrub it from the air, it seems. Yes. So I will need... Hmm, where it is? Gas pump and gas filter. Okay, let's see. First, let's build that. How much power does it need even? Electrolyzer. 120 watts. Okay, that's not that bad. Okay, my electrolyzer is now working. And there should be now even some of that hydrogen gas. Yeah, here it is. Going around. Maybe I will be able to scrub it from the air. So, I have that gas pump. I need a gas filter. Oh, maybe I can store them in these canisters? Automatically stores piped gases into canisters for manual transport. Let's try that. I have no idea if that will work. But we will see, I think. Maybe I should have built that gas pump much higher because all that hydrogen gas is just stuck to the ceiling there. That would make sense. Let's try rebuilding it up there. Okay, so this generator needs a pipe, that hydrogen generator. So I think this will, this setup will not work. And I can't dig through this because it is super hard or whatever. So I need to redo the whole setup a little bit. So instead to going to the this canister filler, which I don't even know if that's how it's used. Let's deconstruct that and send the gas pipe directly to the generator. All right, now it is working and it is sending hydrogen to my hydrogen generator, which is barely working. <laughs> yeah, but it works. But I don't know if that will be enough at all. Probably not. Okay, I need to find some coal, which I have nice here. Okay, but I need more. Where is the coal? I need you. I don't see that much coal near me. Only these pieces here, which isn't really great. Yeah, I'm out of power. I will need some of those, you know, hamster wheels. Okay, manual, po manual power generator is back on the table, boys and girls. I'm using so much power that I'm barely charging my batteries. Alright, I researched a couple of things and I can have now water, Steve, produces clean water from polluted water using sand. Mm. And it creates polluted dirt. And polluted dirt I'm using here. Yes, down into dirt, safely, blah blah blah. Okay, so that's another step. 
because I have some polluted water here. A lot of polluted water up here and up here, so I could use that to transform to more drinkable water. And maybe make this a bigger reservoir or make somewhere a nice reservoir for water. Or maybe just dig down to this one. Because this is kinda messed up, I contaminated some time ago. I would rather not use it anymore for them to drink from it or whatever. Otherwise, uh, we are doing kinda alright. The batteries are slowly charging up again. How is the hydrogen? Yeah, he's mostly pumping oxygen, but. So I made another pipe from up here. I will be pumping excess of that oxygen down here to this section. Because this is the least livable right now. And I kind of need, need them to be here for time to digging up and stuff. So I'll be pumping excess oxygen down there. Anyways, this gas vent is always overpressurized. So it can't pump much. So that's the plan. If it will work, we will see. Okay, the filter is built. Let's see if it will work better. And I stopped some of these algae generators. I will be using most of these uh, electrolyzers. So let's see if that will work better. I can see already more hydrogen going down to the generator, which is great. But there is still the same problem with the overpressurization. I can't really do much about that, I think. Oh, someone got food poisoning. A uh, germ covered to ice wolf. Well, that's not good. How's the germs doing? Oh, they are spreading a little bit further away. I have a sink here. I don't know if I can do anything about it. This is contaminated quite well down here. Maybe I should build that sink here. Yeah, because this guy here, John, it's he's spreading it. Yes, I need a sink down here. So let's have a sink here somewhere okay that should help when someone from this area will be leaving he needs to wash himself first okay th this seems to be overflowing a little bit that's not good uh, i don't want to spread the contaminated water e everywhere yeah and that's what's just happening the germs are everywhere <laughs> this is bad even on the body for refrigerator Maybe I should build another sink here. Yes, this is overflowing quite badly. We need to dig this out. And I can dig deeper and just let all that dirt water go sink down here. But I would rather not. I can use this water here later. Because I don't have a good water sources around me. So it's not yet. Only these two. The rest is kind of contaminated. Except for this one. This one is still great for now now this is much better now oh this is so much organized chaos and i love it i am thinking about moving my main like uh living quarters and food manufacturing and stuff like that to some more you know more organized area i should build something much nicer pressurized with oxygen and i've seen there was in the research somewhere i can use or even I research it. Yes, I can now make oxygen masks. So I could be just pumping all that nasty gases out of that area outside and just having that small area pressurized with an oxygen. Hmm. But I'm not sure about the hydrogen generator because I need to be producing a lot of oxygen and hydrogen for that. Maybe there will be some better source for the, you know, power generation. Not sure. I'll keep on researching and exploring and I will find out eventually. Oh, look at this. The germs mostly disappeared from this area as I started, as I dig deep with that uh, reservoir for the dirt water. So this works quite well. The main culprits for the germs are lavatory, so our toilets right now and refrigerator to some degree. But I'm now starting to understand how to use that sink, so I will get just better. I really enjoying this game. And I need to find more copper or some ore. We need more ore. Ore we need more. Ooh, what's this? Ah, natural gas! 
That seems like something that we can use in a generator. I think I'm researching fossil fuels. Yes, natural ge gas generator. Oh, okay. So this gazier is producing it. Currently it's idle. A highly pressurized gazier that periodically erupts with hot, hot natural gas. At 150 degrees. Oh. I think I will need to find a way first to cool it down. I don't want to burn my duplicants. That wouldn't be nice. And this is getting a little bit hot here. Maybe I will need to do um, to the cooling more. Okay, there is some super hard rock that I can't dig. This abyssalit. Okay, so that's the max where I can go right now. So I don't, not sure that I will be able to reach that other gas. But there is only, yeah, I will be able to reach it. Okay, if I'll go up and right. But there is a polluted water in the way. And I'm out of coal and I am out of uh, hydrogen. So that's not good. <laughs> I will need to, uh, I think, turn many buildings off. At least the ones that I don't really need. I could really use that natural gas. That could save us. At least when we are talking about the power. And I can now build this oxygen mask checkpoint. Uh, let me show you uh, stations. Marks a threshold where duplicants must put on or take off an oxygen mask. Yeah, and I like how it is in and showing in on a picture when you are building it. Which way it works. Yeah. And what's the next station? Oxygen mask dock stores oxygen masks and refuels them with oxygen. Build next to an oxygen mask checkpoint. So if I build it like this. And then oxygen mask checkpoint here. Then an airwalk here maybe. And I think, yes, I need to craft some oxygen masks. Okay, let's make like five of them. I don't know how many I need, if they are like usable, that they will, you know, deteriorate and I will need to constantly producing more or are they are like permanent? Don't know. Let's make five for the start and we'll see later. The main problem is power now. I'm trying to get to that natural gas, but I'm not sure how to cool that down or if I need to cool it down. Alright, so I have figured it out. I have two oxygen mask docks here. So for two people that can pass this oxygen mask checkpoint. Airwalk. And maybe I should put another airwalk here so we are not seeping that uh, gases back. I think that's how it should work. So let's build another airwalk here. It will be slowing my people quite sig significantly, but yeah, whatever. Let's build it. I like it that way. And here I have the same construction. And currently I'm lacking a little bit of oxygen, but yeah, they are pumping, pumping more. They will be all charged. And I found another vent or gazier here. Cool steam vent. And here down we have another steam vent. I don't know how to use or for what to use the steam yet. But I guess I will find out later. Or maybe I already have something that I can use it for, but I don't know about it. I have finally get above that natural gas case here, but by this time my power problems are solved for now. Yeah, I'm still making barely enough uh, hydrogen to fill this generator, but as you can see, all my batteries are fully charged. And that's probably because I turn off all of these oxygen diffusers this filter is fi uh, turned off gas pump another gas pump this carbon skimmer is only working yeah i turned off a lot of stuff so that's why so still i need that natural gas but i'm not really sure how to do it maybe first i need to dig it up a little bit more here Maybe like this. Hopefully this slime won't collapse. I don't want that dirt water here. I want to close it off here somewhere with another airwalk and put a gas pump here or maybe two pumps that will be pumping only that natural gas. Yeah. 
Something like that. That's not the worst idea that I ever had, I think. Oh, here is a vacuum. It's unbreathable. Interesting. I pumped out so much air from here that it is vacuum. <laughs> well, that can be fine. Alright, my new setup works a little better because I needed two filters because this one filter can't really handle two pumps as I found out. It was always stopping and not working properly. Back two pumps, two filters and now all the hydrogen is nicely flowing and more importantly all that oxygen is nicely flowing. But I have a... I've had an issue here. There was a bunch of uh, hydrogen here but I think it just went and out from the from this station I'm not sure yeah it's up here so we just went it out okay I was wondering if it will get stuck because oxygen is supposed to go inside these oxygen mask docks nothing else and there is so much polluted oxygen I needed to build these deodorizers up here it's so messy <laughs> But otherwise, down with my colony is looking better. Yeah, I have a lack of oxygen right now because this was a, wasn't working for some time. But now, it should be better, I think. Oh, the natural gas generator is quite big. And I should build it on top of the pollution water storage or whatever because it's apparently seeping it through where it is. Yeah, natural gas generators leak polluted water and are best built above a waste reservoir. Hmm, but I can lower this by one. And that way it should work. Let's build this mesh tile here. And as soon as these tiles are built, I can destroy this. And have that nice, nice reservoir built for the polluted water. So not, it's not really nice. Oh, what's going on here? Am I out of power again? Whoa! Those batteries drained very quickly. And the only thing what I've done was I turned back on these two pumps, I think. No, only this one pump, this filter. And this carbon skimmer. Ho ho ho! Okay. So that wasn't a good idea because now my oxygen circulation is not that great. And I'm barely making any power. Okay, I need that oxy oxygen. That natural gas generator. Let's build it. Oh, I didn't even notice. The stress of my colonies went up quite a bit. Three of them have almost 27, 28. Close to 30%. Oh, that, that's not good. I need to sort out that uh, power problems. And it should get better. And of course, I need to connect this pump up here for the natural gas to the grid okay it's time to open the vent oh it's working it's working let's lock this door and what's the temperature here just for funsies uh, it's not that bad around 30 degrees pipe blocked yeah it's still not connected to the generator I think or should be let's see Okay, this is the pipe, this is the pipe. It should be connected. What's wrong then? Natural gas. Oh, I mixed it up. Yeah, this is intake, not output. Yeah, it should have been like this. The white is intake and green is output. And I built it the other way around. Okay, and put it back the proper way as it should have been from the beginning. White is intake, green is output. Okay, like this. And I've done another research and now I should be able to even hold gases, I think. Yeah, gas reservoir. Stores any gas resource piped into it. Natural gas, please. Let's filter that out. Yeah, it's the overpressure problem there. Maybe I can dig it out a little bit. But some of the natural gas is finally going. We'll see soon if this will start working. And it is working. Barely, but it is. And my batteries are empty. That's really bad. Maybe I need to start pumping that gas somewhere else. Natural gas, mostly. 
and then a little bit of polluted oxygen. But it is pumping nice amount down to my generator. I will dig this up a little bit. Okay, a lot of natural gas is going down. Nice, and it is, look at that, it's so full. Oh, this should make my batteries very happy. Maybe I sold my power problem for some time. And the gas is not really that hot. It's only at 25 degrees, so maybe I can have a storage somewhere. Let's see how big it is. And once again, his, here, gas reservoir. Quite a big. But if I really want to, I should be able to put it somewhere here-ish. And I have a feeling that I'm running out of water, as you can see. I don't remember if I dig this side off recently or we just used so much water. I'm not sure. But I should be able to start filtering this polluted water. Because I have that sieve for it or whatever it was. If I can find it. Water sieve. What produces clean water from polluted water using sand? Yeah, this is what I wanted to build. Yeah, it, it's just dripping uh, straight down uh, underneath it, that polluted water. <laughs> Maybe I should start filtering all that polluted water. This is working well. Nice. The pipes are full. I will need that storage. Maybe I can build that storage even here. Yeah, let's build it here. It doesn't need to be close to the power generator. And then maybe I will go and tap into this water source for the clean water. Because this one looks like we will be losing a lot of it. Oh, I have a power! Finally! And it's a constant power. Maybe I can even disable this hamster wheel now. How's the oxygen doing? Uh, yeah, there is for some reason uh, hydrogen gas everywhere. Like everywhere around my colony. That will be probably pain in the ass to get it out. But mostly oxygen, it's fine. This is the worst part, but that's not really habitable. That's just batteries. Yeah, it's 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 good. It's a mess. It's terrible. It looks awful, but it is good. And now let's start filling up our storage for the natural gas. Of course. And it's filling up nicely. Oh, I love this game. It holds a thousand kilograms of the gas. I don't know why it is calculating kilograms, but it is what it is. This is going on full. 800, 800 watts. That's the same as the hydrogen generator. Yes. Yeah, there is still a problem with overpressure. I will do something about it later. But I think this will be all for today's episode. I've done a lot of work, bloody hell. But it is really interesting. I love this game. And I hope you enjoyed this video as much as enjoyed playing it. So thank you for watching. Please push that like button and I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day. Bye bye.